Today on Humboldt Outdoors, I am celebrating a new year by steelhead fishing on the magnificent Mad River here near Blue Lake in Humboldt County, California. So let the adventure begin! Oh, yeah, and, and to be clear here, this is not a how-to video on catching steelhead because honestly, my track record of success is pretty paltry. I, I'd say even dismal. But if you've ever been curious about what steelhead fishing is all about, or uh, you want to learn a little more natural history about steelhead, or you just want to see some nice scenes of the Mad River, well, you might find today's show enjoyable. So. If that's the case, watch on. Okay, this looks like a good place to try fishing. Now, fishing in the Mad River does require a fishing license from the state of California and also a special steelhead report card. The cost for those two documents for 2021 ran me around $60. And that money does go to good use. The California Department of Fish and Wildlife Service uses those funds to enhance habitat and fisheries in the state of California and also to manage fish hatcheries. The Mad River Fish Hatchery is just upstream from me, maybe a mile or so. Oh, and also before you, you can put a line out there, there's some documentation required on the Steelhead Report Card. So let me show you how that works. required to enter the date and the location where I'm fishing and I need to keep track of how long I fish here. In addition, so let me do that first. I also need to keep track of how many steelhead I either catch or release and I need to separate it into the hatchery steelhead that are caught or released and the wild steelhead. Now I'm required to release the wild steelhead. Oh, I think I can anticipate your next question. How do you tell a wild steelhead from a hatchery raised steelhead? Well, here's the answer. What happens when they raise the little steelhead in the fish hatchery upstream from here? Before they release them out to the river, before they begin their journey out to the ocean, they clip the tail fins of the steelhead and those clipped fins remain clipped to when they grow into an adult. So if I catch a steelhead here with a clipped back fin, I'm allowed to keep it if I want or release it. But the wild steelhead, they need to be released back into the wild. And I need to keep track of all that on my report card. All right, record keeping done. Let's go do some fishing. <laughs> Okay, I've been fishing here a little over an hour, not even a single bite, which is pretty typical for me when I go fishing for steelhead. Um, I'll just show you a couple of methods that I use. There's a lot of different ways to fish for steelhead, but these are kind of the most common ones. Um, first of all, the idea is the best way to even get close to catching a steelhead is you have to get the bait down close to the bottom and it needs to drift along. So I use this little bouncing kind of rubber weight and then I cast and let it sort of bounce along and find its way into deep holes. And then I have my barbless hook about two feet beyond that. And again, it's barbless so that if you do catch a wild steelhead, you can release the steelhead with minimal harm to it. Or uh, if you want to release any steelhead, it's easy to do with these uh, barbless hooks. The other method I commonly use are these floats. The same concept. 
except I put a little bit of weight to get the bait down deep in the hole and this floats along the top and then when you see this go under um, which for me rarely happens uh, a still hit is after it okay I think I've uh, done with this place I'm gonna go try a different place and then I want to tell you a little bit about the natural history of steelhead, which explains why they are so difficult to catch. So let's go do some more exploring and just enjoy it out here. It's a beautiful day. it up for me another hour fishing here and no steelhead so why are steelhead so difficult to catch well first off we're required to use barbless hooks so if you do hook a steelhead they slip off pretty easily before you can bring them in but also the other part is steelhead coming up this river they're not coming up here to eat bait or lures that people like me are tossing out to them they come up here for one reason and that one reason is to have sex uh, or the fishy term for it is spawning, of course. And, and they, uh, for the hatchery steelhead, they either want to come into the hatchery to spawn or the wild ones go up to their higher spawning beds. And the other thing too is these steelhead that are coming up this river, they're really wary because there's things that want to catch them and eat them like uh, osprey, bears, eagles, river otters, and people fishing like myself. So put all those factors together and uh, they're not a real easy fish to catch for most of us. I'm sure there's people out there can catch them but for the bulk of us it just doesn't happen that often. All right I'm gonna go try fishing in one more area downstream. Let the adventure continue! <laughs> raining a lot the last few days and the river is sort of on the high and the muddy side so on second thought I think I'm going to end this show and call it part one and then I'll film a part two where I go and explore some great park areas down river on the Mad River and I'll talk less about fishing and more about the natural history of the Mad River steelhead but I'm going to end today's show on sort of a grand finale with some spectacular aerial views of the Mad River filmed by Kevin of Humboldt Craftworks. And Kevin's film shots will be accompanied by music from Humboldt's own Compost Mountain Boys. Troubles we have known troubles in our struggles just to get by. Many times the burdens grow heavy, but we carry on side by side. When we're gone, long gone, the only thing that Is the love that we shared and the way that we cared when we're gone, long gone.
be walking together in glory Walking through eternity It's the love that will always be remembered Not wealth, not poverty When we're gone information at the credits at the end of the show about both Kevin and the Compost Mountain Boys. Now Kevin, he has his own YouTube channel all about woodworking. It's called Humboldt Craftworks. It's a great show if you get a chance to watch that. And the Compost Mountain Boys, they play all over Humboldt County throughout the year. And I've included information about their website where you can go find their annual schedule. So if you want to see some more of those great views of the Mad River film by Kevin and hear some more compost mountain boy music and also learn a little more natural history about the steelhead, be sure to tune in to part two of Mad River Steelhead. Meanwhile, I encourage you get out there and experience Humboldt outdoors. <laughs> It's the love that we share and the way that we care when we're gone, gone, gone. Is the love that we shared and the way that